Oh, hi guys, I didn't see you there. You actually caught me at a very good time. I'm currently in Homemade V Direct's THX Certified Kef Cinema Room. So stick around and I'll show you just what a THX Cinema Room is all about. So, cinema room. Why am I in a cinema room? Well, at Home AV Direct, we sell all kinds of stuff for your home, including AV receivers, projectors, speakers, everything you need to make yourself a home cinema. Obviously, as we know, the past couple of years have been crazy. Sometimes you can't leave the house. Sometimes you can leave the house. So we thought, why not bring the cinema to you? Easiest way of doing it means you can stay comfortable and still watch your favorite films. So in this video, I'm gonna break down Home AV Direct's KEF THX certified cinema room. Give you all inside knowledge in terms of screens, projectors, speakers, so you can confidently build your own home cinema. First things first, you need something to watch. So we'll start with screens. There are loads of different types of screens. You've got fixed screens, electric screens, manual pull down screens. There's different sizes, different aspect ratios. So I'm gonna break it down for you. So let's start with some technical jargon. You're gonna get different aspect ratios of screens. Essentially you've got two main types. One is 2.35 by one, and one is 16 by nine. You don't have to get confused. 2.35 by one is very wide, not very tall, more like a letterbox. 16 by nine is more like a traditional TV. So it's same, same sort of size as your TV, and obviously you get a different inch um, diagonals as well. That is mainly gonna to be to suit the room that you're in and also budget. So fixed screens can be a little bit cheaper, um, but if you've got space requirements, you can get moving screens. So you can get a manual pull down screen or an electric screen, so you can hide it away. Um, electric screens do tend to be a little bit more expensive. So again, budget's going to come into play there. So see in this room, in our Kef THX cinema room, we've got the Grandview fixed frame projector screen. Basically, aluminium frame, velvet edge, 2.35 by one ratio. So as you can see, it's very long, not very tall. The benefit of this screen as well is that it actually has metal tension rods um, across all sides. So it's very high tension on the screen. Basically means if there's any wind or if the doors open or anything like that, you're not gonna get too much flex in the screen. So it's not gonna affect your image while you're watching. That screens, obviously, it can still be quite confusing. So if you do still need any help, feel free to give us a shout. We'll always be, ooh, always be happy to help you here at Home AV Direct. So moving on from screens, you need something to put on your screen. So we're gonna move on to projectors now. Projectors, again, come in many different shapes, sizes, colors, different mounting solutions as well. A lot of it is down to your own requirements and budget. So if you're looking for something that you need to get out of the way, you don't have a dedicated cinema room for it, then obviously a portable projector like the Jimmy projectors we've covered in another video might actually be a very good solution for you. If you have a dedicated room, you'll be looking more for something like this, which is a ceiling mounted projector. But as well, you need to take into account distance from the screen. So different projectors have different zooms. So you have to calculate how far back you can place the projector if you're looking for a specific size image. Obviously, if you've already chosen your screen and you're looking for a projector to fit, that's something you've got to take into account. So in this room, for us, we've gone for a Sony VPL VW590ES. It's a lot of letters. In basics, it's a 4K or true 4K projector with HDR and motion flow um, processing built in as well. So it makes all action sequences a lot smoother. Um, one downside to this projector if you have a room that has quite a lot of natural light that you can't eliminate, this isn't the brightest of projectors. It does very good color and very good black space, but if you can't eliminate all of the uh, natural daylight from your room, you might be looking to get something a little bit brighter. So that's something to take into consideration as well. So now we've covered screens and projectors. We've done your video. Now let's talk about audio. Let's go to speakers. So. Before I, oh, before I get started on speakers, let me just clear up some technical jargon again for you. You've probably heard a lot of people talk about 5.1, 7.1, 
Atmos, and all this sort of thing. So let me just break it down for you very, very quickly. The first number is the amount of surround speakers you have in your system. So if you have five, generally means you've got front left, front right and centre, rear left and rear right. That's your five. If you've got seven, means you've added a couple of surround speakers. So generally, it's either five or seven, but that's generally what the first number means. Second number is subwoofers. So if you've got 5.1, means you've got one subwoofer in your system. And the last number, since about 2012 when it was introduced, Dolby Atmos is now a thing, which basically just makes a 3D experience, full 3D immersion. And by doing that, you need height channels. You can either do that by in-ceiling speakers or upward firing speakers. But the last digit, so if you have a 5.1.2, you have two Atmos speakers as well for that full immersion. So now that I've given you a little bit of an idea about the, the numbers involved in a surround sound system, let me just break down for you what we've got in, the, in this cinema room here. So we've actually got a 7.2.4 channel system in here. So seven surround speakers, two subwoofers, four in the speakers. That translates to a lot of audio. So our surround speakers are KEF THX certified CI 3160s. There's two 160 mil drivers and a 160 mil UniQ driver. All of that is housed in a solid aluminium frame which basically means there's no flex in the frame. So all of the cone movement is translated directly into good quality audio. And obviously, as you can tell, in this room, we've gone for all in ceiling or in wall speakers. Basically, it just gives a really clean look to the room, but it is still personal preference. If you wanted some floor standing speakers and you've got uh, a nice cabinet to go underneath, you're more than welcome to do that. It's just a different look. So obviously, being wall mounted, they are quite shallow and 99 millimeters deep. Just to give you an idea if you want to build a room that's how sort of how deep you need to make your walls if you're going to go for an in-wall speaker. In this room as well, we've got two subwoofers. THX certified uh, KEF CI3160. This time it's the RLB for the subwoofers. These actually feature three 160mm mid drivers, giving you tons and tons of bass. And obviously, as you can see, I just took the grill off. There are different options for these depending on what sort of look you're going for. You've got a partial grill, gives you a nice silver edging. If you're looking for a little bit of bling, there are also a black or white complete overgrill. So if you are looking to try and blend it into a room for a very seamless feel, you can do that as well. Moving on from that, obviously, as I said originally, it's a 7.2.4. So in here, the four is our ceiling speakers. So we've got four, again, KEF THX 160RRs. Round ceiling speaker. We haven't got the grills on ours, but they do come with a metal paintable grill. So if you do want to add these and obviously have them blend in again, you can do that. These are just height channels. They don't have to be super loud, but what they do is they just give you sort of that 3D immersion. So if you have helicopters and bombs and you're watching a war, war type of film, it does really feel like you are in it. Um, it's just a whole different experience. So if you do want to experience it, come down. You can obviously come in the room, experience it firsthand, decide if Atmos is the way forward for you. If it is, great. If not, and you like the traditional 5.1 feel, no problem. You can design your own home cinema. So that's the glitz and the glamour in this room. Obviously you've got the THX speakers, 4K projector, widescreen gives you the best cinema experience you can get at home. But that's not it. Obviously the real magic behind the system is what powers it. So let's go and have a look at that. Ooh. So actually, before I get out there, you may have noticed when I got up, I used my phone to turn the lights on. In this room, we have a control for control system. Let's me control the whole room from source selecting, lights, so we've got color changing lights in here as well, heating, lets me do the whole lot. Obviously, this sort of system is completely bespoke. So if you want any more info on it, just give us a shout. We'll be more than happy to help. So the magic, what actually makes the Kef THX cinema room sound so good. Well, it wouldn't happen without some good audio processing. So let's take a look in here. So starting at the top, we'll work down. We've got our ethernet switching for all of our internet in here. Um, underneath that, we've got our control four processor for the control system we just mentioned. Underneath that, we've got our sources that we actually have in the cinema room. So we've got Apple TV, Blu-ray and PlayStation 5. So yes, actually the Sony projector will work with a PlayStation 5. 
The Yamaha and the Sonos are part of a separate system. That's for audio in the shop. We've then got the real brain behind the operation. You've got the AVR40 from Arcam. Excellent, excellent, high quality uh, AV receiver. Eight inputs, three outputs, but the real magic is the audio processing. So this one has been direct tuned to eliminate any unwanted frequencies and actually make the THX speakers sound as best as they possibly can. Obviously, we can't get that across in a video. So if you do want to experience it, come in store, ask for a demo, we'll happily give you one. So underneath that, you've got the PA720. That's a seven channel amplifier, does our seven surround speakers. Underneath that, you've got the PA410, that does our four ceiling speakers. And underneath that, you've got the Casa 500, which does our two subwoofers. So that's the nitty gritty and the magic behind this THX theater room. That's what makes it sound so good. But obviously high-end equipment like Arcam does come with a heavy, heavy price. So if you're looking for Atmos, but you want something slightly cheaper, I've got one. If you're looking for a room that's very minimal, if you've got young kids or pets and you don't want anything knocked over, I've got one. If you've got a room that's very unconventional shape and size and you can't do Atmos via ceiling speakers, I've got one. So that brings us towards the end of this video. Hopefully you found me somewhat informative um, and I've given you an idea of just what it takes to build your own home cinema. And hopefully as well, I've been helpful enough to disband some myths in terms of speaker configurations, uh, screen sizes and projectors. Obviously, every room is different. So if you've got any questions, you need any help, drop us an email, give us a call. We'll be more than happy to help. If you want to come and experience Atmos to see if it's something that you're interested in or if you don't want it, come in store. We'll always make time for you. We'll give you a demo of some of our rooms, give you the different types of rooms that you can go for. Um, in the meantime, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Drop a comment as well if you've got any more questions. Um, obviously, if, or if you wanna see some more of some of our other demo rooms, we're more than happy to do it. But for now, I'm gonna finish my film. Not a film, I mean, it's me, but still handsome. <laughs>